All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here with my friend Brett P. And we're training chest today. We have, um, it's a very basic workout, except for the first exercise we're doing. We have a really cool bar here. You know, I like to travel and show you guys different gyms so you can see what kind of gyms are out there. And also like to show you outside machines what kind of uh, bars are out there that are pretty cool. So we have a cool bar, it's called a Cadillac bar we're benching with today. And then we'll do more kind of more basic exercises after that. So we're getting warmed up here right now. So let's get it, Brett. Uh. <sighs> All right, so we're starting off with a Cadillac bar here. Um, I actually, this is my third workout using this bar. I really like it. So I just did a video on it talking about why I like it. So just click on the link above. But uh, the long story short is, you know, I don't like the bench press first. It's very hard on connective tissue. It's resulted in a lot of injuries for me personally. But the hand position on this really protects your shoulders. Uh, I really, really like this bar. So what we're doing, this is called a Cadillac bar. We've just been doing a lot of warm-up sets. This is our first exercise for the day. And then what I'm trying to do is just work up to a tough set of eight. So we do a lot of warm-ups, get the blood flowing, and then I want our top set to be somewhere around eight reps. I don't want to go to the complete failure, but I want that last rep, somewhere around eight reps as we've climbed in weight to be really tough. So the last set I did, two plates, this is 245s, and it was a solid eight, so now I added, these are 10. So this would be 245s and a 10. Or I could just tell you these are 100 pounders, really. <laughs> nah, just kidding. So let's see how this one feels. So just in case you're wondering why I'm sliding out like that, I actually have a sports hernia right now. So that was, um, pretty, was that eight? Did I do eight? Nine. I did nine. I think I'm gonna go up and do one more set. I'm just gonna add 10 on each side. Probably, that'll probably make seven or eight reps really tough. So that's really what I want is that top set. Now I know you guys probably don't have this at home. I'll put a link in here so in case you wanna order it, but, um, it's hard to simulate this. It really is. There's no way to do it with a bar unless you have a Swiss, a Swiss bar. But the Swiss bar won't have the angles. See these angles? Uh, slightly pronated, which I really like. It makes you really strong. I guess you could do it with dumbbells, um, which would be fine too. So if you don't have that bar, you try it with a Swiss bar, or you try it with dumbbells. But it's kind of hard to duplicate that. Uh, so anyways. That's what we're doing here. Good, easy. So if you notice, we um, dropped the bench down. Now, here's why. So about six weeks ago, I've got a sports hernia playing football with my kids. <clears throat> so I wanted to do a high incline press here, but when I'm done with a set, like raising up hurt, and when I'm laying down with the weight, it hurts. A sports hernia, is a, it's a little different than a regular hernia, you know, where your intestines are kind of popping through a hole. It's more of like a tear of your abdominal tissue clear down your pelvic bone. I thought it'd be better by now, but it hasn't really gotten better. So anyways, so we drop this down. That way I can just drop the dumbbells when I'm done. I don't have to like sit up with them. 
Um, but anyways, I always tell you guys, like, when something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Well, the first set I did here didn't feel right, so I got to just change what I'm doing. So, anyways, I just wanted to explain why that changed. Got to be careful getting up. Come on. There we go. Good. So sets and reps on this. We're doing three sets to failure. And I want every set to be a minimum of eight reps. So the first set, I got 12 reps and I died. The second set, I got 10 reps and I died. I'm keeping the same weight. So we'll see what I get on the third set. But this is a little bit more volume. Um, we're taking all three sets of true failure. Normally, I tell you guys to work up to one or two. A little bit more volume today. We're feeling pretty crazy today. So, um, so three sets to, to failure on this one. Nine and a half, but I got my eight. Oh, baby. Oh. That's no That's nope, it, you're nope. done. <laughs> I don't think he made his eight. Should we make him do another one? That was hard. <laughs> We're doing three sets like that. Chains, and then drop them. That was four chains, that's 88 pounds. Drop them and get some more reps. So I wanted to throw these in here today for a couple reasons. Normally, if we do something like this, we do them between benches. But people ask me, what do we do backstage to pump up? And actually these chair push-ups is probably the number one thing I do backstage to pump up uh, before a contest. And then also I get questions from people saying, you know, what can we do at home to get a good stretch on our pecs? And this would be my first choice which may not have chains, but you can still do the push-up. So I thought that, I thought I could throw that in here today and we could answer multiple questions. So again, we're doing three sets to failure here. We're going beyond failure. So that's quite a bit of volume, especially after doing three sets to failure on the dumbbells. That's a lot of volume. 
but uh, the pump is definitely real today. So we're going to finish off with another really basic exercise, pullovers. Normally when I do these, I do them for lats. And the form I use is I get a good stretch and then I only come to the top of my forehead to keep the tension on your lats. But since we're doing these for chest, you're going to notice I'm not working to stretch as hard and I'm pulling the dumbbell more over my chest and stomach. So Actually, this will be good on the decline too, now that I think about it. Um, but anyway, so it's a little, the form's a little different. You're still gonna work your lats. So if you're doing these and you say, I still feel my lats, that's okay. I like exercises that work a lot of muscle. So this is gonna work your lats, your teres, your pecs. Um, and again, that little range of motion, instead of stopping the forehead, I'm coming further down and I'm using my chest. So this is a great exercise to kind of pump up your upper, upper lat area your Terry's and your pecs. So we're, we're actually, we're hitting all three here. And we're gonna do three sets. I don't normally go to complete failure on these just because I wanna fail in a stretch position and hurt myself. So usually we save a rep or two and we do multiple sets. <clears throat> so right here, stop. And then instead of stopping right here, Come all the way forward and stretch, or flex, I mean. So here, flex your pecs. Right there. A lot of chest, a lot of lats there, and a lot of chest there. You gotta really focus on your chest. Jeez. Chest, 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 right there. Uh. All right, that's it. That's, uh, that workout should give you an awesome pump. Once we got through the heavy stuff, cause you always gotta keep the good basic stuff in there with the Cadillac bar. Again, a little higher volume, more sets to failure than we usually do. Uh, we did three sets to failure on the incline, dumbbells. Then those push-ups we did, those were those were nasty. Oh, Three sets to failure. Actually, we went beyond failure because we were doing the drop set. And then on the pullovers, uh, three sets to close failure. So a lot of sets to failure. That much volume should give you a really nice pump. Hopefully, you've got all your other things in line to get a good pump, your hydration, all that good stuff. But uh, so for Brett and myself, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed that workout, and we'll see you next time.